on our trip to uh, the Netherlands, we met some really lovely people. And they all uh, were, particularly in the small town of Omen, where uh, Helen, my first wife's family, came from. They uh, were so cordial to us. And also in Amsterdam, people here were just lovely to us. So I want to move away from my discussion of the Holocaust and just pay tribute to the Dutch people that we have met who we befriended here and talk about them a little bit. They uh, have a proud tradition. We've seen their painting, the Rembrandt paintings of Vermeer, Van Gogh. Uh, this afternoon they were going to a Clara gallery. Uh, they have a beautiful country, so green. They have a long tradition of maritime like, uh, sailing and, and adventure and voyaging. They founded New, New, New Amsterdam, which is New York. Uh, the Dutch are a very proud people. And uh, we saw them uh, with their soccer team on the uh, museum plane. And uh, there must have been 70,000 people out there. They were singing a song that they called Nederland. I don't know if I can play it on the harmonica. I always play the harmonica in my readings, but I'll try to approximate it. It went to Nederland, my Nederland. Uh, and it's like Auld Lang Syne. a little off key but I apologize and then the last song I want to play is a song that I always finish in all my book readings I played it since 1936 Milwaukee when I first started to learn the harmonica and that is Santa Lucia that does have a connection to Holland because when we were in one of the churches in uh, Omen the town where Cornelius Johannes Borhorst came from in 1847 we walked into the church and sat down, and what did we hear? Santa Lucia. So I'll say farewell to the Dutch people on behalf of the Comey family with Santa Lucia.